a lot of people didn't think we were going to do this, but lo and behold, we updated Goo Engine yet again. 3.6, it's a huge update. Simulation nodes from native Bundle 3.6 have been integrated into Goo Engine 3.6, along with new features from Goo Engine. And we're going to go over all of these things right now. I haven't made a video about this. Technically, it came out a month ago, but we were working on this project, which is uh, the Arknights project we just released on the main channel. So go check that out. This was a Goo Engine project that we worked on, which honestly is probably one of my favorite projects we've made so far in terms of like the rendering quality and stuff like that. We've done an amazing job getting our renders more consistent, our style more consistent, and especially the engine itself outputting more consistently. So 3.6 has a couple of new features, which you can go over actually over at gooengine.org. So if you don't have time to watch this video, you can read this, gooengine.org. Um, we have, you know, a, a series of patch notes is over on Patreon. Um, you can just click this link here and it should have this. So basically the main thing is that 3.6 is actually a refactoring of 3.4 Goo Engine. So we basically have rebuilt the engine from the ground up to make it so it's easier to update in the future. That has allowed us to, again, integrate 3.6 features from native Blender. We get simulation nodes, we get view layer uh, custom properties. I don't know if you guys are as into that stuff as I am, but I love it. Now we do have a couple things that are new. We have a view layer specific sample override, which is really cool. We've been able to render out backgrounds at a higher sample than characters. So characters, we actually have it at as like samples of like one or two, like very, very low numbers because you have cell shading. You don't need that many samples. You don't need soft shadows or whatever, but you do want that for backgrounds. And so you can actually speed up your render times if you bring the samples down for your character effects and all these other cell shaded passes down to one instantly speed up your your render times it's been huge for us production wise so that's awesome custom holdout behavior this has actually been in goo engine for a while and we found out that the holdout behavior in blender is a little broken for transparent materials by holdout what i mean is like during the render times you can set a collection to holdout now this holdout overrides the material for everything in this collection as a mask, essentially. But sometimes when you have a transparent material like this plane here, uh, we have like an effects plane here with like some lightning, um, it will just override the entire material for the entire geometry as a mask. And that will block everything, which is not what you want because you actually had stuff that was important behind it. We actually updated the holdout behavior to listen to these transparent materials, get the alpha mask of the original shader and then use that alpha mask to drive the holdout specifically to limit it to whatever was originally opaque before. This is how it's supposed to look when you have a transparent material, it will only mask out the part that isn't transparent and it'll draw the stuff that is transparent just like it normally would. So you actually get a lot of cool detail here and a lot of cool features here with uh, compositing where you can get out the render passes that you really want for things that are more stylized like these image planes and stuff like that. We're planning to submit this into Blender um, like native as a patch if they'll accept it. There's big studios that still have problems with this in native Blender. I'm just saying if Goo Engine, if they, if they knew about Goo Engine, uh, anyway, animation tools, we did add a viewport line width. This is just sort of a quality of life thing, but it's really, really nice. Our animators love it. Um, it's sometimes hard to see the controls with really, really busy scenes. And so we've added a new uh, UI line width, viewport line width uh, option, which defaults at 1.0, and you can bring it up to up to 3.0, and it increases the line width of uh, most of the lines that are being drawn in the UI, including the rigs. And so it's particularly helpful for rigs. It also makes it easier to see in general for anyone who prefers that without having to scale the entire like resolution of the UI. We also have overshooting pose library interactive blend. So if you look here, we actually have, you know, a bunch of expressions here. And normally if you want to apply these poses, you just, you know, say apply pose that's with the context menu if you want to blend the pose though you can actually blend it with the current pose by however much you want say like 50 percent or whatever you see the slider up here it's very obvious you can go all the way down to negative 100 and make it the opposite of that pose <laughs> or we've actually added this new feature that breaks the limits of the pose so you press e during this section and now you can see you can go as far as you want look you can keep going you can keep going, you can keep going, you can just go on and on and on and on. You can go... <laughs> That's just something we added, so... Ah, nice! And then we have Grease Pencil updates, which includes the Texture Mapping Modifier Randomize options. This is not something that people are necessarily aware of, but if you actually have tried the Texture 
option for like the grease pencil materials, you'll notice something. When we replace the material with uh, with a texture here, so you can see here the style is replaced with a texture, so you can control what the line draws like. And so you can get these custom offsets, which is great. So you can get a really nice sort of hand drawn like custom thickness or whatever it is. But then you realize that it repeats the same texture exactly the same way every stroke. This is native Blender, and you can also tell because everything else is broken because this is what things look like when you move things from Goo Engine to native Blender. As you can see here, if we go to Goo Engine, we have the same file. It's beautiful. This is by Saranen, by the way, and it's available on Patreon if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's in the experimentals tier. But in the meantime, take a look at this. This is actually a, a beautiful randomized stroke uh, offset with the texture that we've input. And this is with the texture mapping uh, modifier. And now normally the texture mapping modifier like interacts with this just, just fine. It just doesn't have a randomize option. So what you would be able to do is you can move everything at the same time, but you wouldn't be able to move them separately. So now we've added this whole randomized section here. This is brand new. This is not in native Blender. Uh, so this randomized section actually allows you to offset things randomly. Uh, so it gives you a much more organic feel. And as you can see, it looks gorgeous. So highly recommend you guys check out this file. And if you want to learn more about sort of like line art and stuff like that you can uh through here and other watercolor stuff which is really pretty anyway great goo engine demo file check it out oh my god the grease pencil smoothing options so if you guys have ever drawn in grease pencil before uh it's it there's a lot of cool options there but you have to kind of click manual on a lot of the tools and so we've made it a lot easier to use now we have a way to automatically smooth whatever brush you have selected rather than having to set it in the smoothing options tools tab. So now if you just hold shift, it'll just smooth whatever you have. So if you have like opacity, if you have like like noise, or like offset or whatever, you can smooth that out. If you have like grab, you can smooth that out. If you have opacity, you smooth that out. So thickness, you can smooth that out. So as you can see here, it's smoothing based on what you have selected just by the hotkey rather than having to select the smooth brush or whatever it is. Also auto close stroke option for, for grease pencil. This is fantastic if you want to have like a fill brush or whatever it is, especially for drawing effects and stuff like like that you can draw more comfortably and be like okay cool i can use the fill bucket now or okay cool i can be for sure that this stroke will close itself automatically closes is much faster much more convenient much more quality of life so we actually have one more feature that's not on the list because we have it on a brand new build today uh, on Patreon. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. This is a trackball feature. So it's useful for people who use gizmos uh, or, or just generally who, who prefer a certain way of, of transformation. So you'll notice that the Blender gizmo sometimes doesn't exactly behave the way you want it to. You'll notice that like I'm moving it left and right, but it's actually spinning diagonally, for example, like there's a certain amount where it's like it, it, it just sort of breaks down. And a lot of Maya users have noticed this because the Maya gizmo is actually very intuitive in comparison. Now, if you actually use this new feature that we've added called continuous trackball, it's under preferences input, turn that on, use the gizmo, suddenly you'll notice it's a lot more smooth, a lot more intuitive. Suddenly, if I move it left and right, it's moving left and right with me, no matter how far I drag it, no matter what I do, it's much more sort of like follows the 3D object transformation of the gizmo rather than the screen space transformation of the gizmo, which is what Blender uses by default. So this might be useful for you. You might not like it. I personally will still be using the default because I'm used to it. But for those of you guys who are curious or who use gizmos or use Maya, might be interested in this option. So give it a shot. That's 3.6. If you want to try it out, you know, try it out. If you guys have questions, feel free to uh, let me know in the Discord uh, or on Twitter. Uh, it's, you know, it's whatever. Oh, sorry, X. <laughs>